This is Scopos. Listen as Brett Larson takes theological topics and biblical truths and applies them to our daily lives. One of my favorite passages in the Bible is the last part of Romans chapter 8. How comforting to know that God's love for us is unending and never changing. Scripture tells us that our love back toward God is powered by our heart, our soul, our strength, and by our mind. They all work together. We cannot love God continuously in difficult circumstances or even feel loved if we don't pursue a deep knowledge of theological truth regarding God's love for those he calls his children. We cannot return love without our knowledge connecting to our heart, engaging our soul, and using all of our strength to wrestle through difficult times. See, the amazing depth of Romans 8 is that God promises believers that we cannot escape his love and his purpose to provide all good things for us. And this is where context matters. Far too many lives have been upended because of false teachings that misrepresent the context of God's desire to provide all good things as if it means some current kingdom of flesh. It is such a disservice to scripture and the soteriological magnitude of redemption to reduce such a blessed doctrine into worldly rubbish. So many in the church are suffering from a selfish, distorted theology of earthly comfort and temporal self-preference whether implicit or explicit, claiming your best life is now or that God has some grand stage for a person to use, all under the guise of blessing, is incredibly destructive. If we read later on in chapter 8, we can clearly discern that the good things God promises to his church involve his prevailing love and the gift of Christ as Savior and now mediator as he is our bridge, our connection, our access, and our interpreter to the throne of a holy, righteous Father. It would be so much better, church, if we told our young people to merely abide, to bask, to enjoy God's love forever, so that no matter what God occasions for a person's journey, they know to run to Romans 8 and trust that Scripture warns that trials, difficulties, fights, battles, and deserts of spiritual feelings will come our way, but that through it all, we know so that we can trust that God's purpose, his promise, is that believers can never outrun his love. Our carnal Western church is so self-focused, so earthly-minded, so concerned with the now, so, well, lazy, that we've abandoned the abiding study of Scripture and the discipline of prayer. Instead of running to our Father to rest in his love, In hard times, we are left looking around wondering how an election could be lost or how a loved one is suffering or how our child has strayed. There is no biblical promise of worldly or earthly utopia, only of God's persevering love through our faith in Christ. While he might not take the trial from your life, he will love you like crazy the whole way through it. Thanks for listening to Scopos. We hope it challenges you to pursue Christ and dig deeper into God's Word. Check out Scopos online at WDCXradio.com.